Okay, Samuel, checking out your second A9L computer here. Um, overall, looks pretty good. The three capacitors have already been replaced in this. This first one is the correct rating, although the brand of the capacitor is an off-brand. It's not the original Japanese capacitor, but it looks okay. Uh, this one here is the original Japanese capacitor, so the correct amperage but a higher voltage, which is okay. And this one here is the same. Uh, correct capacitance, higher voltage rating, that's fine. This one has had the, let's see if I can get a good shot there, this one's had a solder bridge performed, so somebody's kind of repaired a damaged trace there. But, looks like it would work. Looks like they removed the conformal coating and probably replaced it with something. Overall, I don't think it looks bad. It's had a previous chip installed and the port has been prepped for that. It looks like it's been somewhat properly prepped. Probably could use a retouch, but uh, the work looks good. Everything looks okay at a glance. I'd be surprised if this one didn't work fine. Let's put on the tester and see what she says. The 5 volt regulator works fine. This is power, this is the check engine light, and this is the fuel pump. So we turn on the key, the fuel pump should run for one second. And it does. The 5 volt regulator is right at 5 volts, and that's fine. Then we throw it into code pulling mode. And we should see some blinky codes happening here in a second, starting now. Code 51, and there'll be a whole bunch more codes because it's on the bench. But yeah, everything's working good. Um, I think that this computer probably doesn't need to be repaired. It looks okay to me. I would stick it in the car and see what happens.